Oh wow, what an absolutely special berry this is. Look at these beautiful blueberries. And special because not only do they taste fantastic, but special because they are different to most other fruiting plants. They require special and different growing conditions, which can make them <laughs> which can make them quite difficult for the average home grower to grow and it can be very frustrating but it needn't be scary to grow a blueberry and if it doesn't go well you shouldn't get the blues. G'day I'm Mark from Salsa Vision Me and in this video I'm going to show you how I grow blueberries in a raised garden bed just like this. Let's get into it. To be honest, I wasn't gonna bring you this video until I'd finished eating all these blueberries. Oh, mmm, all at once, like half a dozen. Mmm, fantastic. No, seriously, I wasn't gonna bring you this video not because of that, no, because I wanted to do some more testing on this blueberry raised garden bed first before I bring you the full video. But then I thought it'd be fair if I just let you know how it's going so far, just in case you are on the verge of planting blueberries yourself and you were looking for some extra good tips on maybe how to grow them. Because like I said, they can be a little tricky. In my early days, I thought that blueberries would be like any other plant. Plant them out into the garden like a regular fruit tree and they should go okay. But then I realised after several failed attempts that the soil here just wasn't suited to them. The blueberries would grow okay for a little while and then they would pretty much perish. Adding supplements and organic fertilizers, pine needles and organic matter that was higher in acidity didn't seem to make much difference to the growing conditions or the health of the plants. So that's where I came up with the idea of growing them in a raised round garden bed like this. And the main reason for it was so that I could control exactly what type of soil or medium goes into that garden bed knowing that the blueberries are going to love it from the get-go rather than me trying to guess and modify and improve other existing soil types. So that was the main reason. The second reason was convenience. I like growing things in raised garden beds because it's convenient, waist high. And the third reason was I also don't mind crowd growing. And I was thinking probably against a lot of the pros opinions and say blueberry growers what if we crowd grew several blueberry plants together different types could that improve the overall growth or fruiting of the plants in a backyard environment i'm not talking commercially here i'm talking convenience sake better growing longer harvesting different varieties increasing the production possibly and making them just overall easier to look after in the one spot like that. So as you can see I've got these blueberries in this round raised garden bed it's around 750 to 800 mil high or 80 centimeters high it's about 1.2 meters across in diameter so it's not that large and I also obviously have this framework and bird netting over the top. We'll get into why that's there, it's obvious why, but I'll talk more about it later on. But firstly, how did we start off with this and what soil did we use so that it was a good medium or a perfect medium for these blueberries to get off to a great start in? Remember these plants, they're only 18 months old. I haven't had them for long. Mature plants are usually around the four to six years, so we're fairly early stages yet. I started with a standard birdies round raised garden bed, Hugel culture method, where I put logs, old banana stalks and leaves crushed into the bottom. But then after that, I didn't fill it at all with any type of regular soil. What I did was I used commercial bag soil that was appropriate for plants that like acidic soil. Things like roses and azaleas, camellias. Took about, I don't know, six to eight bags, 
to fill the rest of this raised garden bed. And there was no doubt that that medium would be suited to these blueberry plants. One important tip I want to give you when it comes to filling this raised garden bed, specifically for blueberry plants, is to make sure that initially you overfill it. Like I mean ridiculously overfill it and dome it up because you're going to get sinkage. Have a look at the bed now. If you look at before, when I first planted the blueberry plants in, and look at it now, you can see it's below now the level of the raised garden bed here. And that's because you're going to get sinkage in whatever raised garden bed you have. That's just normal. And you want to limit that sinkage when you've got this type of plant. With veggies, doesn't matter, they're annuals. But blueberries are a little bit more sensitive to that. However, I have noticed something really cool. Since the bed has sunk and I've added more organic matter to it, I've noticed more branches and shoots coming from below the surface, bushing it out. And not only is it bushing these plants out, but those new shoots are getting berries on them. So it's not really impeding the growth or it's not suffocating or it's not rotting the stems. The pros will say keep mulch away from the stems of the plants because you could get collar rot. However, I haven't noticed any problem with that at all, which is quite interesting, isn't it? Pack it down first and then dome it up so you reduce the sinkage. You're never going to stop sinkage in a raised garden bed, but you can reduce it a bit so that you're not adding too much organic matter and suffocating those plants too much when you do add the more soil in as the bed's sinking. Now let's get on to planting. Planting the blueberries is pretty easy. It's just like planting any other plant. You can tease out the roots if you want, if they're particularly root bound when you plant them in. And I'm trialing several different varieties. In this bed here, I planted five, although it looks like many more now because of those shoots coming from underneath the soil and filling this bed out. And that was what I was hoping would happen. I planted a misty, bright well, sharp blue, powder blue and a Northland. <laughs> Got them all in this bed here. And they have all grown quite well. Now I didn't just plant them all so they could cross pollinate, which is the number one reason people would think, well, you've got different varieties, can they cross pollinate? And that could increase harvest. And that is one hope. The other reason I planted several different varieties was so that they could flower and fruit at different times, extending the harvest. And you can do this with other crops like mangoes and avocados. You can plant different types of varieties that flower and fruit in the same season, but at slightly different times. And then you can extend that harvest all out. Well, that's my concept anyway. And so far, it seems to be working really well. Got lots of different types of berries. Some are smaller, some are larger, some medium as well. So you're getting slightly different tastes. And I like that. I like that variety in this garden bed. Are there too many in this one garden bed? Well that's the other thing that I'm trialing. At this stage I don't think so. I want to let them grow out and grow well for a couple of years. Now the other important thing I want to talk about are birds. Now you can hear the ducks in the background quacking. Well they're not a real problem for the blueberries but you can also hear the crows and other birds especially the crows they're hanging out here because i've just opened this netting up and they're hoping that i bugger off for a little while so they can come down and get a feed because they've been looking through this i've seen them looking in wishing and salivating over these beautiful blueberries that are being allowed to ripen the fact is Blueberries are very attractive to all types of birds and also other animals like bats and possums. But birds in particular, birds will swoop in real quick and annihilate your crop. And I found that out the hard way this season. I had lots of good, beautiful blueberries and they were just getting robbed from me left, right and center. So much so that you just could not get your hands on a ripe blueberry. But it gets even worse it turns out that the birds will even eat the green ones. But the good news is a simple net like this and framework with some irrigation piping and a little bit of bird netting over the top of that is an easy way to keep out the birds and to stop them from stealing 
your beloved blueberries. And the benefit actually of growing them in a raised garden bed like this is so that you can easily net it. And you just have to peel the netting back and then clamp it up like I've done. And then you've got access to your beautiful berries. Also, if you were wondering, this bird netting is large enough to let small butterflies and bees and pollinating insects through and help pollinate those flowers so that you can get as much fruit as possible. As far as feeding and fertilizing goes, once you've got the soil sorted and you've started with that good acidic base, well then it's easy to maintain your nutrition. Two major things, watering, and fertilizer. Watering needs to be done often, especially if you have a fairly loose soil and a warm climate like us. Blueberries have a very shallow root system, which makes them susceptible to drying out. They're not a very drought tolerant plant. And that is another reason why people find it difficult to grow. The other thing I do is give it a good organic fertilizer. Before spring and through our winter, before this started flowering and the new season of growth began, I top dressed this bed with some cow manure and chicken manure, giving it a good mix of high nitrogen as well as fill and have a better water holding capacity. I also did give it a water in with some trace elements just in case it needed some extra micronutrients and vitamins required for it to be in top health. And as you can see, the plants are very healthy and in good condition. So for now, they are my top tips and my how-to on growing blueberries in a raised garden bed just like this. So make sure you're subscribed. Give this video a big, a bitty, a blueberry video, a big blue thumbs up. I'm not going to squash that in there and waste that blueberry. I already dropped one before. Can't find it and share it around if if you can because sharing my videos around helps a lot thanks a lot for watching bye for now You're still here. Cheers.